So properties of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. First property, the eigenvalues of A and A transpose are same. Now, in an transpose, for example, A equals 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. Eigen Cartesian equation in our own determinant A minus lambda I equal to 0. So, here lambda squared minus C1 lambda plus C2 equal to 0. C1 is sum of the diagonal elements so, so 4 lambda plus C2 is the determinant so 3 equal to 0. So, this is the eigen Cartesian equation of this matrix. What is A transpose? So, interchanging rows into columns. And I get it okay. So, 1, 2, 0, 3. This is our Cartesian equation. Again, it is a 2 by 2, so C1 is sum of the diagonal elements, so, so 4 lambda plus C2 is the determinant, so 3 equal to 0. So, this is the eigen Cartesian equation of this matrix. What is A transpose? So, interchanging rows into columns. And I get it okay. So, 1, 2, 0, 3. This is our Cartesian equation. Again, it is a 2 by 2, so lambda square minus C1 lambda plus C2 equal to 0. So, lambda square minus C1 is again a sum of the diagonal elements, so 4 lambda. C2 is a determinant, so 3 equal to 0. So, these two equations are equal. So, that means eigenvalues of A and eigenvalues of A transpose are equal. So, that is the first property. So, second property, uh, a matrix of order n, you may get a11, a12, a etc., a1n, a21, a22, etc., a2n, then an1, an2, etc., an. Then you find out the Cartesian equation and then uh, take the transpose of this, again you find out the Cartesian equation, both the equations represent the same, you may get the same eigenvalues. The Cartesian equations are equal, obviously the eigenvalues are equal. So that is a property, in general case. The second property, sum of the eigenvalues, sum of the eigenvalues is equal to sum of leading diagonal elements, sum of leading diagonal elements. Would be, for example, you take the same matrix, A equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, the Cartesian equations, lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 3 equal to 0, the eigenvalues are lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0. The eigenvalues are 1 and 3. The sum of these eigenvalues. So, sum of eigenvalues equal to 1. Sum of eigenvalues equal to add these two. So, 1 plus 3. So, 4. Leading diagonal elements. These two are the leading diagonal elements. So, this is nothing but again is the sum of the leading diagonal elements. So, the sum of leading diagonal elements is also 4. So, we can say that sum of eigenvalues is equal to sum of the leading diagonal elements. This is the example for the proving this statement. So, I or sometimes this is called the trace of a matrix. The sum of the leading diagonal elements are a trace of a matrix. Okay. Then product of the eigenvalues. The so product of the eigenvalues equals product of the eigenvalues equals determinant of A. So in the example, I'm going to get to the eigenvalues. So eigenvalues are 1 and 3. So, determinant of A. 
determinant of A is another. This is the determinant value. And I will go on again. So, product of eigenvalue equal to 1 into 3. So, again, so product of eigenvalue equal to 3. So, determinant of A is also 3. Therefore, the product of the eigenvalue equal determinant of A. So, this is an example for proving this statement. Right? So, another one is a very important property. I can prove it. That. So, if lambda 1, lambda 2, etc., lambda n are eigenvalues of A, then k lambda 1, k lambda 2, etc., k lambda n are eigenvalues of k a, where k is a constant or a scalar, where k is a constant or some scalar. How can I prove this theorem? So, by definition, as a definition, ax equal lambda x. It's right. x is an eigenvector, lambda is an eigenvalue. So, pre multiplied by k. What we get? So, k a x equal so k into lambda into x. So, lambda is also scalar and k is also scalar. So, k lambda is also a scalar. So, k lambda is nothing but eigenvalues of k a. Or you take, so x r and lambda r. So, x r lambda r, so lambda r in your day, lambda 1, lambda 2, etc., lambda n. So, lambda 1 and wrong. So, a x 1 equal to lambda 1 x1. Lambda 2, a x2 equal lambda 2 x2. So, in general, so k lambda r is nothing but so eigenvalues of k. So, that means lambda 1, lambda 2, etc., lambda r eigenvalues of a, then k lambda 1, k lambda 2, etc., k lambda n in this example. So, eigenvalues of k. So, that is the proof of this statement. So, for example, so you take the same example, a equals so 0, 1, 2, 3. So, eigenvalues are 1 and 3. Right? So, 2a, suppose you have to find out the eigenvalues of 2a. So, 0, 2, 4, 6. By property, eigenvalues of A are 1 and 3. So, eigenvalues of 2A are 2 and 6. You can verify it. So, what will be the eigenvalues of 2A here? What will be the Cartesian equation? So, lambda squared minus sum of the diagonals. So, 8 lambda, then determinant. So, plus 12 equal to 0. We are solving this equation, the product is 12 and addition is 8, so 2, 6, are. so lambda minus 2, lambda minus 6 equal to 0, so lambda equal to 2 and 6. So knowing for applying this method, simply you try apply the property. So eigenvalues of A are 1 and 3, 